says she loved playing with stray cats and believes that's what her daughter was doing on Sunday mornings before she was abducted. It gets harder by the minute. If someone has got her, um, give her back or just contact the police. Search crews took to the bush for a second day looking for any sign of the youngster. The Homicide Squad is now in charge of the investigation. It's focusing on Kaisha's whereabouts, not just last weekend, but for the past month. She hasn't been at school, and apart from her parents, no one has seen her since her mother gave birth to her baby brother three and a half weeks ago. We need to find from about, around about the 7th of July onwards to try and find out when she's been seen, has she come in contact with anybody that's caused this to happen. Damien, you're outside the family's apartment, which homicide police are now treating as a crime scene. Yeah, Pete, forensic and scientific police are still here tonight. They are being so very thorough in their search for clues. Pete, we must remember this is more than just a police investigation. Other government departments are involved, including the Education Department. The Department of Community Services said today it was unable to comment. As of course, we wait for further developments in what clearly is a very baffling case. Pete. All right, Damien, thank you.